I'm Linda, and I'm not in the best of health, and neither is my house. I have clothes piled up. The clothes are stacked up because I can't get to my closet. My two sons, Andre and Sean, live with me. Andre is 42. I'm Linda's son. Linda is my mom. I've been there my whole life, but I stayed gone a lot because it's like a prison. I'm Sean, and Linda is my mom. Our house smells like rotten food. Clothes laying everywhere. It's embarrassing. At one time, Sean did leave. He lived with his girlfriend. Things didn't work out like that, but he always came home. I'm Robin, and Linda is my sister. The condition of the house that they're living in right now, it just looks like what I would describe as hell. It's horrible. My knees are bone on bone, and I have to have surgery. And I'm going to probably have to have in-home health care. And they wouldn't be able to get in here. Home health care couldn't come in because they would call the parish or authorities. So my mom wanted to go to my aunt's house to stay there. And my aunt got upset and said, you know, I didn't cause this problem. Why is it falling on me now? I figured that that would be the prime time to say, OK. You can come stay with me, but one way or the other, we're getting this house cleaned up. If my sister does not go through with this process, I will have to call the authorities. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Geraldyn Thomas. I'm a certified professional organizer specializing in chronic disorganization and hoarding. Do you think your sister is reluctant to ask for help? Yes, I do. She will not ask for help, and she has a problem receiving help. Linda wants to make sure that she is the decision maker. She does not want to give up control to her sister. Everybody ready? Ready. ready. I do love you. I love you, too. So I'm looking in this room, and I'm trying to figure out how this works. How does a grown man not have a garbage can? I bought a big garbage can. They didn't like my big garbage can. So they took my big garbage can out, put a little garbage can in it, and it stays full. OK, that sounds a little like a cop out. The big garbage can, I can't drag outside because ah. it gets too full. Because you can haul the garbage can outside for your brother and mother, right? Yep. OK. Is there a reason you? Not done that? Mm, not really. OK. Here's some more. Oh, great. They already emptied out your kitchen cabinets. You don't have enough room in your kitchen to bring this back in. So we really need to do some letting go. Keep. Both? Mm-hmm. Keep it. Keep that. I'm going to keep this. Today, we found Linda's weak spot, and that is with pots and pans. How about copper bottoms? Can you let these go? No. Absolutely not? Absolutely. A never-ending supply of pots and pans is what we are still finding in the house, and she just refuses to let them go. I want to keep that, and that, and that. I feel like you're keeping too much stuff for the size kitchen you own. I'm Dr. Suzanne Chabot, and I specialize in OCD and hoarding syndrome. Linda has not cooked for her family for 30 years. I think okay. you're living in the past. The God's honest truth. You're living in the past to think you're going to be serving huge meals for 12 people. Think about it.
I'm not real hopeful for her unless her boys say, Mom, we're getting rid of the pots. You think your mom's going to use all of this? No. You got to gotta get rid of this. She'll never use half of this stuff. I think it's an attachment, like a kid likes teddy bears. You ain't going to use all this, Linda. Get rid of it. eBay it, where it came from to begin with. You live with pots and pans, or you live with people? Which one is it? When your own child looks in your face and says, choose me, mom, choose me over the objects, and she cannot answer, that's severe. Answer your son, Andre. People or pots? People are the pots and pans. It hurts seeing her pick pots and pans over me and my brother. That's my jambalaya pot. She doesn't want to break She'd up sets, break but it breaks up, up break families. Up set, yeah. How you feeling, Andre? What are you feeling? Come on. Useless. I bet you the last time we had dinner on the table, when I was 10. I don't either. I, I... Why does she need so many of them? Keep that one, and that top goes to that uh, pot over there. Yeah. We're still digging pots out. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're going to dig pots out for days in there. When they leave, we need to send her off somewhere. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, uh -uh. Business needs to pick yeah. up. Robin keeps mentioning that when Linda goes out to eat, that she and Sean or she and Andre may go in the back room and start cleaning it out. I overheard you saying that you're going to come do it while she's not home. I will tell you that that can result in unfavorable. I mean, people really? have been known to kill themselves, go into deep depression. You don't want to be responsible for that. At some point, Robin, it's OK to say you've done everything you possibly can do as a sister. Robin really takes responsibility for the lifestyle that Linda is living. You are unable to fix what's wrong. I can't accept that. I'm trying to make you understand and trying to help you to understand that these little things you don't need. Love your pots and pans and everything and more than us. No, I don't. That's the way I feel, and I think that's the way Sean feels. Yep. The boys are facing being a relic in a tomb in that house for the rest of their lives, or are they going to have to take over and say, Mom, you're getting old. We cannot tolerate seeing you live a life that puts you and us in jeopardy, so we're taking over. The problem here is you got to have knee surgery and home health care still isn't able to come in here. Oh. You still got the threat of the health department coming in and putting you out. Yep. You feel like this was all for nothing? I do. I think she's going to go right back to the way she was. If she continues this way, I really do believe that at one point the health department is going to end up coming into the home, and they will be putting them out. The boys don't deserve this. They don't deserve to be put out of their home because of what their mother has become. She lives a life of intentions, like so many hoarders. Here we have two boys that never got the life that could have been. So this is a situation, like in most hoarder situations, that no one gets the life they really want. Hi, thanks for being a fan of hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.